learning for all. Today I am going to explain algebraic expressions. So, ready? We can go to definition. First, you have to know what is algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression. First thing you have to know is algebraic expressions consist of variables and constant. So, what is variable? Variable means alphabets. A to Z. Any alphabets. So, an expression contains alphabets and constant called algebraic expressions. Constant means 1, 2, etc. So, I will explain with one example. 2xy. It contains constant 2 and x and y variables. Clear? So, an expression contains variables and constants are called algebraic expressions. These algebraic expressions can be any alphabets. Okay, 4PQ, this is also algebraic expressions. Okay, now you have a doubt that expressions made up of variables and constants along with mathematical operations. What does it mean? Mathematical operations, that means 2x plus 3y. This is also algebraic expressions. That is, it contains x variable 2 constant, y variable 3 constant and it is connected by a mathematical operator. Mathematical operator means plus or minus or multiplication. 2xy, what is 2xy? 2 into x into y. Clear? So, we can say that an algebraic expressions, algebraic expressions are the expressions made up of variables and constant with mathematical operators. So, you studied definitions. Now, if an algebraic expression contains equal sign that is called algebraic equations, this 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. Okay. So, an algebraic expression contains an equation sign. It is called algebraic equations. So, examples of algebraic expressions are 2x plus 4, 7 minus 3 plus 6x, 2x square. This is also algebraic expressions. Clear? So, these are the examples for algebraic expressions. Now, you have to know these terms. I mean these definitions in algebraic expressions. First one is terms, second one is factors, third one is coefficients. First I will explain terms. After that I will explain what is the importance of terms and factors and coefficient in algebraic expressions. Okay, so first you have to know what is term. Term are the individual building blocks of expressions. I will explain with examples because the definition from book makes confusions right so terms 2xy this is algebra and algebra expressions in this this 2xy is called term and one more example x plus y in this two terms are there first term is x second term is y x square plus 4x plus 2xy plus y. In this, how many terms are the Four terms. First one is x square, second is 4x, third is 2xy, fourth is y. So, the building blocks of expression, terms. Terms are the building blocks of expression and the term. When we add the terms, we will get, we will get algebraic expressions. Clear? So, when we add, I mean the sum of, arithmetic sum of these terms are called algebraic expressions. Clear? For example, 5xy minus 3. 5xy minus 3. What are the terms? 5xy is one term and minus 3. Remember, minus 3. You have to take the sign because I already told when the terms add 
clear so 5xy minus 3 is 5xy plus minus 3 so the terms are minus 3 and 5xy so you have to consider the sign one more example 4y square minus 3x what are the terms 4y square is first term and minus 3x is the next term clear so we studied terms next is factors factors means variables or constant whose product form a term of an expressions for example x plus y in this x is one term and y is another term so we can say that x into 1 right first term x into 1 so x and 1 are the factors of first term in y into 1 y and 1 are the factors of second term another example 2xy 2xy 2 into x into y so the product of constant and variables so 2x and y are the factors another example 4y square plus x square plus 2x how many terms are there three terms that is 4y square x square and the 2x what are the factors of 4y square 4y into y similarly x square x into x 2x 2 into x the product of factors form term and summation of the terms form and expression and algebraic expressions clear one more example 8 p q what are the factors 8 p q clear next is coefficient the numerical factor of a term we already told term containing what are the factors factors variables and constant this constant this numerical term the numerical factor the numerical factor of this term is called coefficient 2xy what is the coefficient 2 3x square what is the coefficient 3 minus x square what is the coefficient minus 1 so numerical factor of a term called coefficient 6y and 2xy coefficient of 6y is 6 coefficient of 2xy is 2 clear so we can say that the coefficient i mean numerical factor of a term is called coefficient numerical factor of a term is called coefficient and when these factors multiplied we will get term and the summation of term called algebraic expressions terms containing factors variable factors and numerical factors this numerical factor is called coefficient and the summation of these terms we will get algebraic expressions clear so these are the introduction part clear next like terms like terms are those terms which have same variable raised to same power very important same variables as well as same power for example x square and 2x here variables are x but the power are different so this is not like terms clear x square and 3x square here variables are same and power also same clear another example 2xy 4xy here variables are same power also same minus 2 x square and 3x square here also variables are same and powers are also same so you have to remember you have to remember the same variables and same power mass condition it should have same power as well as same variable clear so 3x square y 3x square y and 5x square y these are also like terms because variables are same and power also same clear next considering to the number of terms algebraic expressions can be classified into monomial binomial and polynomial monomial contains one term 2xy binomial contains two terms that is 2xy plus x square polynomial contain more than two terms x square plus 4x plus 2y clear 
So according to the number of terms, it's classified into monomial, binomial and polynomial. Clear? We can conclude this part. In next part, we can study addition of algebraic expression, multiplication of algebraic expressions and we can do the problems from NCRT textbook and algebraic identities. So before that, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the notification bell. Thank you. If you like my video, please share to your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.